الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وقل الحمد للہ الذي لم يتخذ ولدا ولم یقل له شریک في الملك ولم یقل له ولی من الذل وكبر ہو تکبیر صدق اللہ العظیم رب شرح علی صدری و یسر علی عمری وحل العقدم من لسانی یف کہو قولی ریسپیکٹڈ ویورز اینڈ لسنرز السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ دا ورس وچ آئی ہیو ریسائٹیڈ از فرام بنی اسرائی لاسٹ ورس آئی ول گیو یو دا سمری اللہ سے از دا ٹرو کنگ از اونلی اللہ سبحان و تعالی ہو ڈز ناٹ بی گیٹ نور ہی ہیز بی گوٹن اینڈ اونلی ہی سپوز ٹو بی پریزڈ وہ کب بر ہو تک بی را بیکاز ہی از اٹرنل ہی از ایپسلوٹ ٹوڈے دا ٹاپک از فائیو میجر سائنس آف یوم القیامہ فائیو میجر سائنس آف دا ڈے آف ججمنٹ وی ہیو ویری گڈ نیریٹو ایکسپلسٹ نیریٹو سنگسنکٹ نیریٹو about 10 major signs amongst them i would like to share with my viewers only first five and inshallah in the future videos i will make other five then later on i will also discuss the minor signs of yawm al qiyamah and the prophecies ashratu saa the prophecies of prophet muhammad peace be upon him foretold 1400 years ago so succinct tersely spoken that no disbeliever would deny unless he is insane before going into all these explanation all semitic religions on earth they would believe on the day, uh, on the day of judgment yawm al akhirah the day of accountability the day of resurrection on and on you have different choice of words but all denote one thing connotate one thing that the day which you have to pay your deeds if you have good deeds or bad deeds repercussions will be there rewards will be there so we have some kind of attitude some kind of explanation and some kind of dogma or doctrine the tenet proves it that all the religions on earth they believe in the concept that one day this life will change into hereafter book of revelation if you read the bible the whole book talks and speaks about some kind of future events and amongst them which i'm going to elaborate the five major signs you would find that there are something similarities amongst them but the difference is the thing which are quoted in the bible you do not have any verification or authentication quran whereas in hadith we have unbroken chains of sequence which can authorize or which can authenticate that these books are genuine and we do find the quality of content you will see hadith and quran will support more into truth than the bible but this is not the subject of comparing but ideologies are there concepts are there in some kind of distorted form in the bible but in the clear form in the form in the holy quran before going into that there is a hadith of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam He said when the rising state of Jerusalem the rising state of Jerusalem will be when Yathrib Medina will be in ruins men when Medina will be in ruins the great war will erupt Armageddon Armageddon or Al Malhamatul Uzma the war which will be so great beyond your capacity when the great war will erupt you will go back to constantinople 
Constantinople, which is Turkey. And once you reach there, you will see that the Dajjal has arrived. It's kind of amazing analogy Prophet ﷺ proposing in this hadith. Is an exception going on. If this thing doesn't happen, this thing will not fall. The rising state of Jerusalem under the hands of Jews will be, when the time will come, then you will see. Medina will be in ruins. Central power gone. When Medina will be in ruin, the great war will erupt. When the great war will erupt, you will go back to Constantinople. When you go back to Constantinople, you will hear that the Jal has arrived. This is amazing hadith. Same. Matan, two things are discussed in another hadith of Prophet ﷺ about Ghazwai Hind, the battle or the war of Hind with India. Same Matan where Jesus Christ, which is one of the five major signs, discussed. Prophet said, the time will come when you will take the king of India, the ruler of India, by putting chains on his feet and you will drag him. And they will lose the war. Could be Hindus, whosoever Allah knows. And in the same time, Prophet ﷺ mentioned in the same matan that Jesus Christ will come and people who will follow him will go to paradise. And the people who will go away at the time of war will never be forgiven. Allahu Alam, end of time, near days, all these ahadiths are available. Surah Zukhruf. Allah mentioned that Jesus Christ is the sign of the hour of their judgment. He is the sign of the hour. The hour which Jesus Christ said in the Bible of that day knoweth no man, nor the angels, neither the son of man, but father in the heaven. Only he knows that time and the day of resurrection. Allah says Jesus Christ will be the sign of the hour. Not a center, a sign, just uh, what you call close rendering. And nobody knows the exact time, even Prophet Wasallam. Nobody knows, not the angels, only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah gave us some indications, signs, the currents, forecasting the shadows. You know, future events cast their shadows before. These signs are there to follow. In the book of Sahasitta, in six books, the most authentic books we have. Amongst them, you have Babul Fitan or Ashratu Sa'a, all these book signs, major signs, minor signs. Minor signs, every sign is completed. And inshallah, I will discuss this in another video. Every sign is completed. But we have 10 major signs, but amongst them, five I'm going to discuss. Let's start number one. The first sign will be Imam Mahdi, the appearance of Imam Mahdi. This person is coming from the progeny of Ali anhu, the fourth caliphate of Islam. Family of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, his son Imam Hassan, anhu, his progeny, his ancestry or his generation, future generation descendants. Amongst them will be one person whose name will be Muhammad Imam Mahdi and he will be having the same name of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu father same name mother's name Abdullah Amina and his name will be Muhammad and his forehead will be like just similar like a Prophet Muhammad peace one he is from Arab not from India that lunatic Mirza Ghulam Ahmad claimed that Kafir Murtad that swine not him. He will be from Arab. His mother tongue will be Arabic. Understand? This is very clear. And he will born at age, age, the age of 40. Allah will guide him into the circumstances where he will be claimed or he will be recognized. Rather, I say that he is Imam Mahdi. That's sign number one. Sign number two. Appearance of Dajjal. 
who is the jal antichrist you see jews they thought that we killed jesus christ the son of mary from nazareth and they are waiting for somebody else where allah says that jesus was sent and he was the right but according to them they killed him in inverted commas so it was the good riddance uh, came for this became for the jews and good redemption for those christians now christendom good redemption for jews good riddance what allah says neither they killed him nor crucified him but it was made to appear them so so they don't know what really happened allah says we put, took jesus alive and he will come back so dajjal is who the one who tricks materialistic person who will keep all the people away from spiritualism and believe in manipulated atoms and these atomic numbers these molecules these matter three dimensional space after the big bang everything shaitan satan is been alluring people that this is everything do not believe in hereafter this is the trial and tribulation of the jal the trickster jesus christ also mentioned in matthew 24 24 he says lo there will be the person who will say that here is the christ or i am the christ so jesus said so there shall arise many false christs and false prophets even to show you many signs and the wonders and the feats even my own elective disciples could be deceived by such of those miracles and feats of antichrist be vigilant O my disciples be warned O my disciples be alert O my disciples this is the trial of antichrist he will claim that antichrist where prophet says when the jar will come he will be blinded from right eye the right eye of spiritualism and he will be opened by only left eye the eye of materialism and he will do fitna the third sign jesus christ will come and he will come and he will kill this dajjal at the place we call it lud where is israel international airport now when jesus christ will come imam mahdi will become this, this uh, uh, freeing the people of palestine from jerusalem by the hands of jews and he will be taking leading the army towards syria Damascus in a white minute of masjid Jesus Christ will be ascended by the Amr of Allah with two angels and once you reach to the masjid the time of Fajr will come Imam Mahdi will lead the prayer not Jesus Christ so the people will not say that Jesus brings some new religion remember that if Jesus comes it does not break the finality of Prophet Muhammad peace be because be spain peace be upon him because no new prophet would be coming after prophet muhammad not the previous prophet says ana muhammad ana ahmad la nabiya ba'di no prophet be coming after me not the previous prophet coming after me so it breaks the finality no no new prophet will come if no alayhi salam comes again now in this dunya by the order of allah it does not break any finality of prophet muhammad remember that he is the last and the seals of the prophets no prophet and messenger coming after him this is clear so he will lead the prayer and then he will march to kill the jal then the fourth major signs yajuj and majuj gog and magog after the noah's blood sorry noah's flood three children survived Sham, Ham, Yafish, Sham, Semites, Semitics, Ham, the other Japanese or Indian Aryan, non Aryan people came. And the third son was Japheth. His 11th son's name was Yajut and the 12th Majuj. Gog and Magog, these were the descendants of these two people, two children. And they were living in some minor Asia, this mountainous range of Caucasus mountainous range, where you see Russia and Georgia between there's a whole stripe of strip of mountainous range, one side Caspian Sea, other side Black Sea. And over there, these people were there. Uh, many historians, they speculated by this was the place where they were captured. 
Why? Because this was done by Cyrus the Great, not Alexander the Great. Please, Cyrus the Great was the person who joined two great empires, Macedonia, into one. So they named him a guy with two horns, Zulkarnan, Cyrus the Great. According to Quran Surat Al Kahf, he was a righteous king of Persia, Iran, current days, and Allah gave him some kind of power that he closed those people into some kind of iron made walls till now they are stuck and allah says in the quran that these people will be scot free in surat kahf and surat in another place and they will bring mischief into the world great mischief and chaos that human cannot even imagine into the deepest figment and then what happens then jesus christ will pray to allah ya allah do something he will bring all the people to the top of the mountain after killing the jal and then he will pray to allah then allah will send some kind of termites or insects which will cut the spinal cords of these people and they will die profusely and then their bodies will be so much in the abundance that the smell and the dirt then allah will order the big birds to take their bodies and dump some kind of sewer or sewerage allahu alam this is the uh, prophecies prophet said this way then the earth will be normal for 40 years jesus christ will procreate will have children will marry and then he will die as a natural death and he will be buried beside the grave of prophet muhammad peace be upon him which is vac vacant uh, near masjid al nabi beside the prophet muhammad's grave in medina this is the time all these uh, scenarios and situation the fifth major sign the smoke you see, the way we are seeing the world, it could be a great kind of global warming. Look, prophecies can go back and forth. It doesn't mean that exactly this happened. This is a time. Prophet says when the pendant will be broken from the necklace, the pearls will fall like in a speedy way. We don't know the pace of those pearls. It's like one after another, one after another. So this great smoke could be atomic bomb, flumes, could be the flumes of something unnatural ozone something uh, unnatural emissions we don't know harmful gases allahu alam which will protect believers but disbelievers will pay the price the topic was only five first five but let me give you the sixth one at the end you see the sixth sign great will the mark of the beast which is mentioned in the bible book of revelation 666 but it's not in a clear way but in islam we have a clear picture of this 666 bark of the beast is like kind of animal it's also mentioned in surat al-namal chapter 27 allah mentioned that this beast will mark people and this is one of the great tests from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that beast will be having the staff of moses and the signet of solomon and with those all powers with the staff he will uh, mark the people who are righteous and with the cigarette, you will mark the people who are not righteous and the marks of their sins will come on their foreheads. And this is kind of like, like you know, uh, uh, when you clean the stuff, you know, and then you uh, clean the stuff and then you produce the results out of it. It will like, like sifting. It will just like a sifting of things and all that stuff goes with it. This beast will not have a co cordial relationship. It is the test for everyone to test one by one that who is to done, who has done what or did what in the past. These are the six, ma six major signs of Yom Al-Qiyamah. The other four, inshallah, I will continue in the next addendum of this series. May Allah protect us with all these kind of ordealments, all these kind of tests. This is not something easy the way we think. The Yom Al-Qiyamah at the... Uh, the presence of Sahaba Prophet ﷺ was crying profusely. His beard was full of tears. One of the disciples of Prophet says that, Ya Muhammad, O Muhammad, peace upon you, why are you crying? He said that I saw Angel Israfil, the angel who will blow the trumpet. Angel Israfil, that he is spread amongst the whole of the universe, his wings are spread and his eyes are looking towards the arsh of allah and the trumpet is near to his lips 
and is about to blow. When I saw this, I've cried and you're asking why I'm crying? Because this is what I'm seeing. The trumpet is near to the lips of Israfil alayhi salam. This is what Prophet says. His first sign, his birth and the death of Prophet is the first sign of Yawm al qiyamah And 1400 years are gone. Imagine in which time and era and which eon we are standing right now. Look at the world, what happening? All the minor signs are fulfilled. Only the remains major signs and major signs are also getting fulfilled. We can see anytime the currents and the waves are supporting Armageddon, the last war. The last war, Al Malhamatul Uzma. You can sense that there is something coming up. The future events cause the shadows before. May Allah protect with all these kinds of wars. But these things will happen because these are the prophecies of Allah. These are the prophecies of Prophet, not prophecy of Allah, the truth from Allah, which is which are prophesied by Prophet Muhammad. And this thing will happen. These things will happen. Either you like it or not. How Hard you close your eyes from these realistic world. You need to know that there is a spiritual world and you plan. Allah is the greater planner than you.